Hey everyone, it's your girl Morpheus Kim. Um, welcome to my second YouTube video. It's been a while, but I'm back and better and bored and in quarantine. So, so today I want to show you my daily makeup slash face routine um, that I really do every day. And there's not a lot of creativity in my makeup skills, but that's fine. I think you can do a lot with basics, like all the beauty gurus say. Let's get started. I've already moisturized my face with the Nivea Night Cream. It's very moisturizing. Hey everyone, Future Kim is tuning in. While I was editing, I realized how much I was struggling explaining why you should put on a moisturizer. So that's why I'm trying to do it again. So everything will go smoothly and I don't have to watch like 20 minutes of me trying to explain why, even though it's like a two minute explanation. But yeah, here we go. So what I did was applying this very hydrating moisturizer. It's like a drugstore product, very affordable. I also use like a night cream as my day cream as well because it has like more hydration in it. If you really want to learn something about skincare, I can recommend you like mixed makeup, like the Susan Yara. I don't know, you can learn a lot just by her reacting to a video from other celebrities doing their skincare. It's just, I think it's just awesome. If you don't put moisturizer on your face, your skin will think it's lacking hydration. That's why it will produce more sebum. That's the oil which is like on your skin. And that's what we don't want. That's why you should prevent it. That's why you should use moisturizer, please. And a good sunscreen. I just wanted to explain more on the scientific level. <laughs> Not that you wanted to know, but enjoy the video. So let's move on. Second step would be the sunscreen. So SPF. I recommend it every day. Yeah, what I also learned is that we want to prevent wrinkles and even though you have youthful skin still, your skin will thank you later on if you always use sunscreen. Just protect your skin from the UV rays, it's just better. I choose like this watery essence and I really like it because it just feels so light on your skin your skin will soak it up right away so that's why i love this product so next step would be foundation sometimes i feel like just applying foundation sometimes i just feel like just put on some concealer but today i felt like why not let's do some foundation right now i use the misha cushion foundation it also contains spf 50 as we learned is very good so it's like a double protection i think right um yeah but i really really love this one it's also i bought it in the drugstore as well pretty affordable on other days i just use this Yves, i almost dropped it um Yves Saint Laurent cushion and this has spf 23 um why not but to be honest they look the same they work the same why not go with this one right like I, I felt bougie, I have a membership, so I just bought this one. I prefer cushions more than beauty blenders. Please don't come for me. Few pumps and then lightly put on your face. In my opinion, with cushions you don't have to totally wet it um, to achieve like a full coverage. Well, I know for like a beauty blender, it's better to wet it first before applying the foundation with it. But, I don't know, this one, I don't think you'd need it because it's just so flat and it doesn't really absorb a lot of product. As you can tell, your girl's breaking out right now. Ooh. I kind of hate it to put, like, product on your pimple. It doesn't feel right. But we're still doing it. My nose is itchy. So next step would be setting my face because I have a oily face. Not that I didn't mentioned it. Well, for that, I use the Catrice Cosmetic Setting Powder 5-in-1. I just bought it recently and it's amazing. And it has like a big mirror. Like, this product is more likely to build up on your face. It's not like you get one swipe and it like picks up everything on one brush. You can get just more control with this. So just give it a 
swirl and then pounding it in the face I just put it in your oily area for me it's just my whole face don't forget your ear I don't know why but I just like to use it my ear somehow after that I go to contour for that I use my um, triple shading BT palette um, yeah it's like I use it for everything for contouring for eyeshadow it got used a lot and I dropped it once and yeah, it never came back normal there's so much pigment coming out I'm scared like to be honest I bought it because the packaging it's just so cute like can't you see I'm just a sucker for cute packaging and then I just put it on my nose and then I like to concentrate it here on my nose bridge make this bridge seem a little bit higher guys I just learned all this on YouTube yeah and then this and then I just take a bigger brush and take the same palette and carefully take up some product oh shit oh, like do you see this in my I think I need to order another one like I don't really contour this cheek area because in my opinion I already have like these high cheekbones and like just do your makeup according to your face shape and now a very fun part of mine is my eyelid it's a thing I do almost every day I don't know it depends how my eyelid looks that day so that's why I have this buddy to help me out to make it even so I take this tool and create a line where I think it will look similar to the other eye. I think that's fine. Yeah. And then it will go away somehow. And then I take this. It's like clear glue, say for your eyes. Put it there where I just wanted to have the crease. And I just let it dry for a few seconds. And then take my tool and well, after that I'll go to my eyelashes I just take my eyelash curler from tweezer men and then I'll just curl my eyelashes I think you know how, to, how you do it I'll coat my eyelashes with my mascara heroin make it's a Japanese brand I really love this brand and I mean slightly like you almost can't see anything so my eyelashes with the false lashes will blend together easily I just don't like to put too much on it for the false eyelashes I use the Adele natural ones do they have a number? 110 I recently started using false eyelashes and I used a few of them like I bought those BH Cosmetic false eyelashes and, and they, they are just dramatic very dramatic I cut them a little bit because my eye is tiny these lashes are just perfect I just love them so much and then I just take the duo um, eyelash glue in black it's getting crafty Fucked up. Yeah, that's right. Do you see a difference? I, so I still have some gaps between my eyelashes and um, my rear lashes, and I just fill them in with some black eyeliner from Maybelline. We left drugstore, and I just go between my. Wait, do you want to see it? I don't know. And I fucked up again. I think that's okay. Is it too much? Nothing is too much, right? 
And for my eyebrows, I will use my Media with Brow eyebrow pencil and I just bought it in Japan. I think every every kind of brand will do. But the cool thing is, it has like a applicator with powder on it and will make your, your eyebrow look more fluffy and natural if you want that look. So before that, I'll just take a brush and brush my eyebrows out and then I'll use the pencil first. And I try to like fill in the tail of my eyebrow. Hi there, I just realized why editing the video that I vlogged the footage about the lipstick, so please bear with me. The lipstick I'm using here is the Yves Saint Laurent de Slim. It has a very nice berry color and I think it suits the daily look pretty well. It's actually a matte lipstick so sometimes I just combine it with my lip balm so it kind of looks shiny. I heard there's sunscreen for your lips as well. That's interesting. Yay! I did it again! Got my last part of the video deleted. It's okay. It's not that bad. I, I had it worse. So to wrap it up, I hope you learned a little bit about makeup, maybe sunscreen as well, and, and maybe about me. Who knows? And I hope I'll, I'll see you soon. Promise.